Hi, my name is Gasper. I'm Developer Relations Lead at Oasis Network. Today I'm going to show you how to use UserSwap, first decentralized exchange built on Emerald, Oasis EVM supported blockchain. So first you will have to enter user-swap.com and that webpage will appear. If you want to enter the app, click Start Trading. And now the user swap app will appear, right? First things first, before you can actually use any of these functionalities like swapping, forming pools and so on, right? You will have to connect your wallet to user swap. So I will click connect wallet and you can select any of these options. The most popular and what I will use for our demo is MetaMask. So I will have to unlock my MetaMask Okay, there we go. Uh, and what you will notice is that my balance is immediately shown here. So if I open my MetaMask, you will oh, you will see my balance, right? So there's my eight rows. There is uh, 20 CUSDC, right? So those are my bridged USDCs. And that's enough if I want to participate in DEX, right? So let's see what I can do. I can actually go to swap. I can select a token, let's say I want to swap from, let's say CUSDC to Yuzu, right? So let's let's form, I will exchange like five USDC to Yuzu token, right? So when you will be doing that first time, you will have to approve specific assets. And since I'm using the CUSDC for the first time, I will have to confirm uh, this you know, access, right, uh, to this asset. So now when I'm approving this transaction, currently it's still pending, but it will be uh, very short, shortly um, completed, right? So it's approved. Now I can actually swap from CUSDC to use it. So now I will click swap. Uh, by the way, before you can click swap, um, please check the price impact because Sometimes there is no liquidity and sometimes you will have to maybe provide a different or higher percentage um, that that will be allowed. For example, if I go to settings, uh, there is slippage tolerance, right? The default one is 1% and sometimes where, where there is no uh, so much liquidity, you will have to increase that, right? Maybe to 5%, but that's the upper limit, right? So let's say that I will limit my uh, slippage to 5%. Um, you will notice that uh, it's typically green, yellow or red. It depends how big impact it has, right? But the point is that some pairs will have low liquidity, which means that the price will be affected in a huge way uh, if, you will pro if you will try to swap a higher amount of uh, specific assets, right? Okay, so now we know what's this price impact and how can you set a different uh, slippage tolerance. Um, you can also check a fee and what's the minimum that you will receive, right? So let's swap my USDC to Yuzu. I will confirm my swap. I of course need to confirm the transaction. Okay, transaction is submitted, so I will click close and I will just wait that my transaction will be completed successfully, right? So what you will notice um, is that I should have only 15 USDCs left and I should have five, uh, sorry, around uh, nine uh, and 9.74 uh, users. And you see it reflected immediately, right? So that's a good thing that you always have um, the right amount reflected. And if you open the MetaMask, now you will see if you click Assets again, that I have rows and CUSDCs, right? But where are my users, right? For that reason, we will have to import tokens, right? So let's go first to uh, Emerald Explorer. So explorer.emerald.oasis.dev, put in Yuzu, and you will see there is Yuzu token click on that user token and copy that contract, actually copy that address, right? Then you go back to uh, MetaMask and you click so on assets 
and down below to import tokens. So provide token contract address. You see there is already auto field, use you add custom token, import tokens. And now, voila, I have my 9.7 users, 15 something USDCs and 8 rows, right? Pretty cool, right? So let's go back to Userswap now and let's try to form some liquidity pools, right? So I will try to add liquidity. So uh, if you just click uh, add liquidity, existing or already created um, assets will show up. But otherwise you can form and create your own pools, right? So I will form, let's say, um, Yuzu and Rose um, liquidity pool, right? Um, and I will just use, let's say, um, seven rows. And this is the equal amount, right? So 50-50 is supported, right? It always must be 50% one asset, 50% another asset, right? And then I will just approve Yuzu first. Okay, so that's always when you're performing some actions for the first time, you will have to approve first and then confirm, right? Okay, so since now it's approving the Yuzu first, Okay, approved user, nice. I can now supply these two assets into liquidity. I will click confirm supply. And now I have to confirm this transaction. Okay, uh, transaction submitted. I will just close that pop-up and I will now wait that my uh, transaction will be successful, right? And what you will notice is that my five rows will be deducted from my available assets, but I will get another token actually, which will be used for, uh, let's say, liquidity mining, right? So now we formed liquidity on rows user pair, right? And I can go now to liquidity mining and you will see I, I chose, um, you know, wrapped user or user so I can go and provide, um, you know, I can actually stack uh, my um, liquidity pool token. So I can click select on this uh, pair, right? And I can first approve the, um, you know, Rose Yuzu liquidity pool stake. Okay, confirm. And then once it will be uh, approved right then I can actually add liquidity right okay so that's successful um, so you will notice we can stake uh, LPs so I will click on that um, maximum it means all we provided in previous steps so I will confirm that and of course I need to sign or let's say confirm each transaction, right? Since it's a DeFi, right? And what we will actually do here is provide some liquidity to this pool and I will be rewarded for that, right? So people that are interested in swapping rows for Yuzu will actually now be able to do that based on how much liquidity it's on these decks. Um, and yeah, I will get rewarded for that. Right, especially because I'm also um, not only providing liquidity, but now I'm actually mining. I'm using this liquidity mining functionality to be uh, rewarded even more. Right, so here rewards are actually already, uh, you know, increasing. And yeah, if you want to, after you know some time, uh, for example, unstake your uh, liquidity pool tokens. You can simply click unstake, confirm the transaction. And what we will do now is actually, you know, use that liquidity pool tokens. We will actually split them or let's say um, if we put them together to form liquidity, now we will actually uh, divide them back to uh, Yuzu and Rose, right? So now I unstaked my LP tokens. 
so I'm not being rewarded with liquidity mining rewards, right? So that APR, it's not applied anymore, but I'm still rewarded for, uh, you know, the, uh, the swaps, right? Because I'm still providing my liquidity. If I want to go uh, back to pools and I want to, for example, remove that liquidity, right? Which means that I will actually get back you know, almost seven, so seven rows and uh, 4.9 uh, uses. I can do that by clicking remove, right? Then I need to provide uh, how much, so, you know, 50% or all uh, LP tokens. And I will have to approve first because it's the first time I'm doing that. I will sign and then I can just click remove, right? And of course, confirm. So, confirm the transaction with the MetaMask. And now let's see what I will get in my wallet. Okay, so I have uh, rows, CUSDC and Yuzu. Okay, so why we don't see uh, rows that was, uh, you know, removed from liquidity pool? Because it was wrapped rows. So I need to maybe add uh, the um, wrapped rows token. So I will go to my Emerald Explorer again. I will click, I will say W rows and there it is, right? So yeah, I will copy that address and I will import that token to my MetaMask. Okay, add custom token, import token and I'm going back and you see, voila, I have the seven wrapped rows. So that's simply rows, but it's wrapped because it was used uh, for liquidity pool. If you want to unwrap these rows, just go back to user swap, go to swap, select token, let's say wrapped rows, and maybe just unwrap that rows, right? So that's a simple uh, transaction that will just provide the same amount of rows but it will be unwrapped so you will be able to use that unwrapped rows to send them back to consensus for example or uh, you know do whatever with the rows itself right so usually we actually are using wrapped rows for liquidity and all other stuff on dex but rows itself it's uh, on the emerald and you can transfer these rows from Emerald back to Consensus with our browser extension, right? And yeah, that's actually what I wanted to show you for today. I think it's pretty awesome that it's so easy, so fast and pretty secure at the end. You saw a lot of approvals, a lot of assignments, a lot of um, transaction confirmations and at the end you get pretty nice rewards. So thank you for listening and see you in the next one.